Let's set off on a basic flight using the GTN. We're on the ground at Centennial Airport in Denver, Colorado, and the first thing we want to do is set our comm frequencies. We can do this by pressing Home, then Waypoint Information, and select Airport. From here, we can choose Frequencies. We'll know we want ATIS first, so we'll select that and flip it into the active. The next thing we'll want is clearance delivery, so we'll choose that, and it sets it up in my standby. We can then flip it from standby into the active. The next thing we know we'll want is ground, so we'll select that, and that goes into the standby slot. We're going to take a trip down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Normally, we'd be okay flying a direct route, but given the Colorado terrain, this time, it's better to stick to the airways. Let's assume we've got our clearance, and we're cleared to the Albuquerque Airport, Direct Pueblo, Victor 611, Albuquerque VOR, then Direct Albuquerque. So first, we'll go to Home, then to Flight Planning. Right there, it says Add Waypoint. We'll click the Find key, because we know the airport we're at will always be under the nearest. Then we'll select our second waypoint, Direct Pueblo. So we'll enter P, U, B. From here, we need to add Victor 611. So we'll select our Pueblo VOR waypoint, and it brings up a list of things we can do with that waypoint. We'll select Victor 611, and we're going to be on it until Albuquerque. So we'll select Albuquerque as the exit waypoint for that airway. The GTN shows us the route we're going to take on the airway. After the airway, we're going to go direct to Albuquerque Airport. So we'll enter one last waypoint. K, A, B, Q. Now that we have the whole flight plan loaded, we can go home and then map to see the whole route.